Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome besties, it's me again. So, today I got some shit in the back of my car because I have been getting rid of a lot of stuff. So please ignore the mess with the Ikea bags and all that, it's just all clothing. Today I have a message that I felt like sharing. And this is because it's something that I've used throughout my life to kind of get me through certain things, okay? Because sometimes it's really easy to get caught up in getting used to things that you once dreamed of. So this is what I mean. I want to give you guys an example. Oh, before I jump into the video, my name is Ashley. On this channel, I talk about lots of stuff. Spirituality, law of attraction, just some like mindfulness rants, things like that. So if you like to stick around, I would really appreciate it. You can go ahead and subscribe. But with that being said, let's get right into the topic. So I want to talk about the importance of asking yourself the question of what struggles are you willing to put up with? Let me say that again. What struggles are you willing to put up with? No matter what you do, there's always going to be a struggle. But you have to make decisions for yourself that are going to give you the best struggles <laughs> for you, okay? I'm gonna give you an example. So as humans, we tend to adapt and get used to things, you know. So a lot of times we pray for something, we work to manifest, we dream of something, whatever your beliefs are. I'm gonna say pray because I pray on things, you know? I'll pray for something and then eventually I will get what I prayed for and I'll be so happy and grateful and then I'll kind of get used to it and I just forget that I now have what I once prayed for because I want more. As humans, we're constantly on this hamster wheel of just wanting more. We'll pray on something, we'll achieve it, then we're like, I want more, I want more. I got my dream job, I need a promotion. I got a promotion, I need another promotion for this promotion. I need a new job, I need, you know what I mean? It's just like this never ending cycle of dissatisfaction. What I'm trying to get to is that in everything we do, there's always going to be dissatisfaction. For example, I used to have a job. I hated my job with my whole life. I hated it. It was, it was shit, you know? It wasn't shit, I just hate working for people. And so then I finally started really taking YouTube serious, blah, blah, blah. I ended up monetizing it and creating a job out of YouTube and I was able to quit my job. I remember when all I wanted was to make $100 a month on YouTube so that I could pay my phone bill. And then it kept going up and up and like, I was happy, right? And then I just wanted enough money to be able to quit my job. So I did that. Then I got used to that life and I started complaining. I started complaining about things that I didn't like about YouTube and like, it made me unmotivated. So for example, suddenly I'm like, ugh, I hate that I have to do my makeup every day just to film. It's such a waste of makeup. Bro, would you rather do your makeup and wake up at 7 in the morning and go to work? Or would you rather sit on your couch and film a video? You know what I mean? And I got this like mentality of ungratefulness because I wasn't accepting the struggles that came with what I was doing. So, let me get back to my point. What struggles are you willing to put up with? Do I want to waste my makeup to not even leave the house? Do I want to spend 20 hours editing a video? Do I want to burn a bunch of gas driving people around in my car asking them questions about their zodiac sign? No. But do I want to clock in at a job that I hate, deal with a manager that doesn't like me, and stack boxes all day? I also don't want to do that. And if you do that, that's okay. I just don't want to do it. You know what I mean? So what struggles am i willing to put up with am i willing to put up with those struggles those are struggles for me because i don't like doing those things no i'm not am i willing to put up with doing my makeup in the morning to film a video yeah i am is it a waste of makeup yeah you know is it ideal maybe not but every job is gonna have its little struggles or its big struggles everything you do not even just job, everything you do is gonna have a struggle of its own and you have to decide what is worth it to you. And to me, the struggles that come with doing what I love, they're worth it as long as it means I get to continue to do what I love. So if you're someone who wants to be a painter and all you wanna do is paint, but you just, you know, you hate that it makes your hand cramp up. I mean, so does typing on a computer for nine hours a day. What are you willing to put up with to live the life of your dreams? 
And that's something I think that's really important to ask ourselves because it brings us back to a state of gratitude. I'm grateful that the struggle I have to put up with is as simple as putting on makeup or as simple as getting out of bed and sitting on my couch to film or as simple as not being able to socialize with people when I'm at work because I work from home. Like I'm okay with those struggles. Do I love them? No, but it's, it's okay. I'm grateful that those are the burdens that come with doing what I love. So I want you to ask yourself this question, 777 is in front of me. <laughs> I want you to ask yourself this question and relate it to many things in your life. If it's to do with maybe your partner, you know, like, yeah, sure, maybe your partner's annoying and maybe he can't dress, but would you rather have a partner that's bad at communicating or that's not the best listener or that doesn't empathize, you know what I mean? What struggles are you willing to put up with? Because nothing and no one in this world is perfect. Hi, can I have a medium vanilla iced coffee, please? This can be applied to your car. Yeah, I drive, I mean, I don't drive an Audi, I drive an Audi. Yeah, I drive an Audi, and I hate that it takes premium gas, but I'm willing to pay premium gas prices so that I can have a premium driving experience. That's a struggle I'm willing to put up with, you know? You can apply it to your job, you can apply it to your girl, to your man, to your family. You can apply it to your family. Yeah, I hate that my family's not as close as they could be, but they love me and they support me, you know? I'm not saying that, I'm just giving that as an example. Yeah, I wish I had bigger boobs, but they fill out my top. And I don't have to wear a bra every day. Obviously, we could always say things could be better, you know? I don't wanna act as if like we're not allowed to complain, but I also want you to check yourself check yourself when you realize that you're slipping into a state of like dissatisfaction and ungratefulness because that my friend is a low vibrational energy and you know what low vibrational energies do they attract low vibrational stuff i don't know the word but stuff thank you I want you to ask yourself, what in your life are you not satisfied with currently? And how can you flip your perspective so that you can learn to appreciate it for what it is until things change? You know what I mean? Because the things that I, you know, I'm not the happiest with when it comes to YouTube and stuff, like I can change these things, you know, I can, but it'll take a little bit of time with certain things. So I just need to remind myself like, yeah, this is annoying, but I also really hated clocking in at Rogers and having to sell phones all day. I really hated that, you know? And I just think it's really important to try our hardest to shift our perspective so that we can learn to appreciate what we have in this life. It's really important. And you just have to ask yourself, what struggles are you willing to put up with? What's worth it to you? What is worth it to you? Because if you want mental peace, freedom you know you want to have a good time doing what you love for a living but that means maybe you're a little hungry because you can't make the money you want to make but hey at least you get to paint then fucking paint but just know what you're going to be putting up with versus what else you might have to put up with that might make you more miserable i think i'm you know talking in a couple circles now rambling so i'm gonna cut this video short because i just feel like this is a, a small message of the day i really wanted to share that with you because i feel like it's something that i try to ask myself as often as i can so journal about it ask yourself that question see if your perspective changes at all let me know what struggles you're putting up with currently so that you can live the life of your dreams and what else you could be doing if the situation wasn't in your favor you know so for example like i told you that my YouTube situation versus I could be fucking clocking in at Rogers and selling phones for a living. Um, what are your two perspectives? I'm pretty curious. Um, but yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. This video was unplanned, by the way, so I hope I made sense. I just kind of turned my camera on while getting a coffee and decided to do this. But yeah, I don't regret it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends. Bye besties. You guys are my besties. I keep calling you friends. Aren't we besties now? I'm pretty sure we are. I gotta stop doing that. Okay, bye. <laughs>